we're in Kerr Kiflin, and I have a couple of side quests I want to work on. The first is Apostasy. Uh, first we talk to Dallin Lark, who asks us to talk with Roger Ardentfire, a priest of Arun. He has important news to share. And it took me a while to find this guy. Because... I had never been to this promontory before. I did not know <laughs> this existed here. It's got this cool statue statue out here. So yeah, I've been uh, kind of checking this out. Oh, is this a door? Interesting. This statue is a door. When I zoom in, I can't look at the statue anymore. Well, perhaps this fellow will open the door for us. Whoops, no, I wanted to select... Oh, too late. Ah, here you are. Chaplain Dallon Locke told us you'd like to talk. Many thanks for coming. It's about the Sunblaze Monastery. We're all is. Scavengers said many tombs in the cemetery bore the name of the Darwaz family. And? Emton Darwaz ruled this monastery. He was a renowned prelate on Tirmar. The heads of the church searched for him for years. Then he was considered to be lost, either left on the home world or killed in the cataclysm. Now we know he was alive. He buried his brothers and family in the Badlands. A sad tale, for sure. Worse, as this cursed symbol suggests. I prayed for his soul, and Aaron sent me a sign. A sign? Chaplain Darwaz's soul never joined, Aaron. It is trapped. He might have cursed his own symbol. The souls of his brothers, too, wander somewhere in this land. Someone needs to go and cleanse their remains with holy water. Will that suffice? Not if M. Tan is indeed cursed. His soul is too angry. Then you'll need to reason with him. I imbued his symbol with Aaron's magic. Use it as proof. And if he doesn't listen to reason? Then, and only then, should you destroy him. We will do what is necessary. May Aaron's fire warm your heart. Clear skies. Well, he's obviously not going to listen to reason, and we're going to have to destroy him. Well, I expected he was going to say something that would uh, lead us to open this statue door. So let's let's now open it. To our eternal heroes. Oh, this is a list of all their backers on Patreon. Or Kickstarter or whatever. That's not a door at all. Okay, we have one other quest. So that leads us out to the Tirmer... Tirmerian ruins uh, so we might be going past there on our next gem quest or we might not um, family reckoning takes us out to Copperan the nature of evil is also here in Kerr Kiflin so we're gonna go find Galifin who is back at the uh the original place uh the the entrance Galifin's house fast travel all right entering Galifin's house
incidentally, today I have downloaded and purchased a new DLC for Celasta Crown of the Ma Magister, the Palace of Ice, I think it's called. I haven't done any of the DLC yet because I haven't finished the main story yet. We will get there some day. Okay, I guess we're not talking to Gunner Elderin. Talking to the main guy. Clear skies, Master. Clear skies to you. Ha! <laughs> we live in exciting times, do we not? Too true. So, about our last meeting. Still troubled, Master. Yes, indeed. I have had occasion to witness... things. What things? I am not sure. Just violent rituals. It reminded me of what you said about cruelty and Sortar's ways. Master, you're scaring me now. I need to ponder. Can you come back tomorrow? Of course. You realize something very bad might be happening to him. I know. Let's just... Come back tomorrow. What? Uh, Master Galifan said he'll want to speak with you again. Wait the night. He might have further questions and we'll send for you. Okay. This is just leading me on a wild goose chase here, aren't you? I guess we'll go rest in the tavern. I think I would like to go ahead and just try to finish this uh, story. Because I would actually like to start some of the DLC and try some new characters and stuff. I am a little worried that they're all going to have the same character voices, though, If I even if I start new characters. Because you only get a handful of voices to choose from. Alright, let's go... Let's go rest. Oh, wait. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? Uh, never mind. We should go. I'm gonna talk to Arwen. If you're looking for a sharp blade, I'm your man. Okay, never mind. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? That was far less of an interesting interaction than I expected. We'd like to stay for the night. Ten gold pieces. Do we have any items to attune to? So he's already attuned to a gem of seeing and a belt of hill giant strength. There's nothing else to do. Wait. Items that can be attuned. That's already attuned. That's already attuned. Everybody's already attuned to stuff, so... There's no attunable items, then. We did it! New objective. Gallivan wants to speak with you again. Let's go talk to him if we can figure out how to get out of here. Or I guess we can just go out here and click. Oh, there's like a, a plaque on the door. Master Galifin, philosopher and peer of the kingdom.
I wonder if any foul business has befallen him. I keep forgetting you have to click. Nope, he's still here. Clear skies, master. Ah, my friend. Let me introduce you to Lady Elorith, my paramour. Master? Clear skies, senior deputies. Why do you call us that? Because you are the reason I was sent after Galifin, the most gentle soul on Celasta. What? You'd better explain yourself quickly. I'm an infiltrator from the Coven of Aravad. They're here? In Kaer Kiflin? I was to seduce Galifin to make him work for us, and instead, he changed me. He showed me that even a corrupted soul like mine still has some good in it. And I won't let any harm come to him. How can we believe you? I am not the danger. The Coven will soon ask me to bring him in to compromise him. And? I can bring you there. You would catch a splinter cell of the Coven. What do you want? Just to be free to go. We are too well known to stay here, but we want to stay together. The Coven knew of your mission and sent me to get information. I'm not sure I'm the only agent informed, and Galifin needs to disappear to be safe. Do you truly want to leave, Master? Yes. Where Elorith goes, I shall follow. Very well. We shall come when you send for us. I mean, that didn't seem suspicious at all. It rolled that insight check that, that I failed, and I was like, well, I don't need to roll an insight check for this. Elorith wants you to help infiltrate the coven of Erevid. Find her in the streets. Okay, we're going to the streets then. I mean, if this isn't some sort of trap, then I just don't even know what to say. It's sort of sort of interesting that his paramour looks exactly like Elisa. I wonder if that's just coincidence or they just don't have that many character models in this game. Probably the latter. Um so where is she? There she is, Elorith. She's down there at the lane ends. Travel interrupted. Oh, by the quest. Is it time? Yes. And once inside? Wait for my signal. And until then, let me speak. Okay. Defeat the Coven of Erevid, it says. Let's do a quick save. Which is taking a long time. And I don't like it. Did the game just crash? Or is it just that it takes a long time? It feels like the game has crashed. Because it seems to be completely frozen. Nothing is happening. Um, hmm. Okay, the game came back. I had to alt-tab out and back. And now it's back. That was weird. Oh, there's... There's an extra member of the party.
Uh, I thought we were going indoors, but I guess not. Elorith. Hold Alt for more information. AC 13, hit points 15. Friendly creature. It's quite dark in here. Should somebody light a torch? Oh, hello, cult fanatic. State your business. Glory of souls. Power to the one. We're running late. Are we the last? Yes. All are awaiting your guest. But why the other ones? New recruits. It's one at a time. You know the rules. Indeed, I know oh. them. Oh. Follow oh. me to the basement. Let me guess. That was the signal. <laughs> Stabbing them. <laughs> that was the signal. Oh. I see a number of, uh... Sorak infiltrators and veterans. Wait, she's a Sorak infiltrator? Is that one of the lizard people? I don't know what's going on. I guess we're just charging boldly in here. Yep. <laughs> Very... Oh, some of those look like vampires, but they all have, uh... Oh, somebody's casting Sacred Flame. Gilda's gonna counter that. No thank you. You know, I probably should have, uh, hidden to start with. But, oh, okay, Gilda, I see some people in a, in a line, in a, in a thing here. We have an opportunity to cast a fireball which is going to hit oh my god can I hit everybody with this fireball <laughs> oh my god duck Edmund oh countered no <laughs> that's not cool alright she's gonna move uh, undercover, I think. Nope, she can't go that way. She's gonna go over here. Yeah. Get under partial cover. Elisa is up. Elisa is also going to get under partial cover. And then she's... Can she do a hide here? Nope, can't hide. Break line of sight to hide. So she could... No, there's nowhere to go to break line of sight. Bummer. Alright, well, she's just gonna shoot then. Oh my god, I only have nine arrows? That's not cool. Uh, I'm gonna shoot that cleric. Oh, a good kill, as they say. Nice. <laughs> that was awesome. I was not expecting that. What does fast hands do? Allows you to take the use an object action. Okay, don't need that. The enemies... Oh no! Swings at Elisa, but she dodges. An archer fires at Edmund, hits. An infiltrator... Dabs Edmund, poisons him. Oh man, Esmond... Edmund takes another critical hit. Oh man, yes. Elisa needs to do an uncanny dodge to avoid this. Elisa should have moved further back. 
I see my mistake now. She only takes two damage. Oh, she takes a second hit for nine. Oh my god, she takes a third hit, and she's poisoned. Uh, one of them is passing by Ruad. He is going to strike. Hits for a total of 12 damage. Nice. Wow, everybody is surrounding Elisa and just swinging away at her. Uh, she is going to have to take the dodge action. The, uh, what is it? The cunning action escape op uh, uh, action, whatever it is. Okay, uh, Edmund is going to uh, start swinging. Uh, he's going to start with the veterans surrounding Elisa. That's a hit for 15 damage. Second attack. Oh, bad luck. That was a total miss. And... Oh, he's not holding his second weapon. Uh... Yes, he can switch... Thankfully, I can switch weapons in the middle of a turn and do my bonus action third attack. That's another hit for eight points of damage. Wow, he's really not very hurt. Alright, we're gonna end our turn. Ruad is going to... I think... switch... to his crossbow... step backwards... and he is going to cast... um... where's Bless? Increase your ally saving throws. Um, do I have Bane? Bane is also pretty cool. Oh, blindness is cool. Oh, that's one enemy though. Um. I'm going to cast Bless at uh, second level, so I should be able to get all four of us. Oh wait, where's, uh, no, 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 cancel that. I'm going to cast Bless. third level and get Elorith select five targets how do we select targets I'm clicking on things oh I can't bless Elorith oh no I can't get Elisa no why can't I bless Elisa Elisa's too far away. I can't bless Elorith. Well, in that case, I might as well cast it at first level, then. Because I can only get Edmund, Gilda, and me. Arun, Encho, Viribe. Viribe. Uh, soothing hand. Nope, don't need that. Another hostile spell. Another guiding bolt. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm going to counter that, too. That was the Priest of Erevid doing that. That was my third level slot. Okay. Um... Yeah, that's all my third level spells gone. Wow, that's like all of my... Man, I wanted to do Hypnotic Pattern. Uh, 
I'd have to cast it at fourth level though. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm afraid it's gonna get countered too. This priest of Erevid is worrying me. Can I do a... I'm gonna try to do a ray of enfeeblement on him. Arcana Necro Minus. Ah, oh, he saved. No effect. Okay, so Elisa, who is in big trouble here, is going to do a cunning action disengage. And run away. <laughs> She's going to run um, far, far away. How far away can she get? Back to there? That's a good spot. Oh, no cover there though. How about over here? And then she can take an attack on this uh, veteran should get sneak attack big damage but he's not dead yet that's the end of her turn Edmund under fire somebody just shot at Elisa but missed an attack on Edmund misses oh Stay with us. another attack on Edmund hits Veteran does second win. Edmund's on the ground. Edmund's getting beat up from all sides. Oh my god, they're all fighters. Have like 18 attacks per round. Okay, he's got to use a second wind on himself. For nine points healed, not great. Um, he's going to... Man, I feel like he should get the small ones first. 32 hit points, wow, they've all got 32 hit points. Ugh. Man, can he put down this veteran? gonna try that's one hit for 11 points wait oh I hit the infiltrator I clicked on the wrong guy damn it well I might as well finish him off take that oh man he's not dead yet that stinks do I do an action surge let's do it while we're up um we get two more attacks. One on the infiltrator. He's dead. Move, my friend. Second attack. Let's hit this veteran. That is 16 points of damage, but he's not down yet. He's close, though. All right, Ruad. Um, do you have a long-range heal spell? By any chance? Do, 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 do. We got Scorching Ray. Where are my healing spells? Do I not have any healing spells? Burning Hands. Cure Wounds. There we go. That's a touch spell. Ugh. I do not want to run over there, though. Wow, I have Wall of Fire? Really? Oh, that seems like a good thing to cast, actually. Um... 
Oh, he's got hypnotic pattern too. Awesome. Can I? Oh, no, I don't want to lose concentration. Damn it. Wall of Fire is concentration too, isn't it? Let's do a line ring inner or ring outer. How about a ring outer? Okay, this one I don't mind losing concentration for. Oh man. Um Oh man, I can't get uh Elorith is in a terrible standing in a terrible position. I can't Oh man, I gotta cancel that. Okay, let's try. What if I do a wall of fire in a ring inner? Yeah, no, we're not doing that. What if we do a wall of fire in a line? It would have to be like that. Select, wait, select an origin for the wall effect. You know what? I'm not going to do that. That just seems like excessive. Let's just do Scorching Rays at the veteran to try to put him down. One. Two. I'll do two hits on him and the third one on the other veteran. Evo Malmis. You can't win. Yep, he's down. And Ruad is rolling for some reason. Um, nope. Can't do anything else. Oh no, another hostile spell. Another sacred flame. I gotta counter that. Gotta do a fourth level counter on that. And now let's do a... And this will be my last spell. Um, I mean, let's just do a firebolt on this veteran. Arcana Evo Malmis. Ah! 15 points of fire damage. And that's it. Elisa is going to shoot this veteran in the back. Missed! Unbelievable! The sure, sure shotted Elisa missed. The infiltrators are missing as well, but one of them knocked Edmund down. Oh god, the veteran healed himself. Swings at Edmund. Still in the fight, my hits for four. Hits, hits again for eight. Edmund stands again. And now he is going to unleash fury against this veteran. First attack. Hits for ten points. Second attack. Hits for eleven points. Third attack bonus action. Critical hit. Only 12. He's not quite dead. He's just... He's just about dead, though. Um, Ruad is going to cast one Scorching Ray on him. That should take him out. And then he's going to do one on each of these oh, other ones. Evo Malmis. What? Missed. He missed. 
The veteran. Unbelievable. Oh, man. Gilda has got to counter this last guiding bolt. It's her last counter. I have no choice but to counter these things. Um, now she's going to cast a firebolt on this veteran, hopefully take him down. Perfect. 15 points of fire damage. He is dead. That leaves two infiltrators and the guy in the back. The priest in the back. Okay. Elisa is going to fire at one of the infiltrators. Kills him with 26 points of sneak attack damage. Wait, was that a sneak attack? Yes. And that's it. Oh, there's an archer back there still shooting at Edmund. Oh, the infiltrator swings at Edmund. Critical miss. Okay, Edmund's now gonna turn his attention to this infiltrator in his face. Ow! Again! Hits for 17 points of damage. Second attack. Hits for 11, and he's dead. And next... Uh, I think he is next going to... Where is the archer? There's the archer. The scout. He's going to charge up. You know, I feel like he should... Uh... You know, I actually feel like he should maybe move up here next to Ruad so he can get a heal. You know, he's actually, he's just going to move like one step forward. No, actually he's going to move over here under cover. Partial cover. Now Ruad is going to run across and cast a Cure Wounds at, uh, let's do it at 4th level on Edmund. Arun Evo Cure. 20 points of healing. Not fantastic, but good enough. Uh, is he still, is he poisoned or something? Um, how do I see his status? I'm trying to click on him. Nothing's happening. How do I see Edmund's status? How do I know if Edmund is hurt or something? Character... Uh, Edmund. Is this gonna tell me... Nope, I can't select it. How do I know if he's... I was thinking about doing this this bonus action soothing hand to remove a detrimental condition, but I don't know if he's poisoned or not. I have no idea. I'm just gonna use it. He's healed for another 8 points. Okay, well, that's good enough. Oh, damn! The uh, cleric back there did a flame strike that hit both Ruad and Edmund, and they both took a frick ton of damage. Like 29 points of damage each. Edmund is hurt. Ruad is hurt. Okay, now it is time to work on this guy down here. Uh, let's do... Let's try another Ray of Enfeeblement on this guy. Arcana Necro Valmis. Ah, he succeeded again. No effect. Okay. Um... 
Elisa's going to move up and start shooting at the priest. That's 13 points of damage. Not that great. The archer shoots at Edmund but misses. Edmund is hurt again. Um, I feel like his best maneuver is to charge ahead. I mean, his the only thing he can do is uh, <laughs> move ahead in one spot. Do we have a? Does he have a potion or something he can drink? Do I have a healing potion by any chance? Uh, healing potion? <laughs> That's poison. Why don't I have any healing potions? Wait, what was that? That's acid. I don't have any healing potions! Why would I not have healing potions? That's a rather poor decision. I mean, he's just going to stay there. He can't do anything else. Ruad's going to come up beside him. Cast another Cure <laughs> Wounds on him. And cast it at fourth level again. And this time he's going to move a little bit further away. And... You've ah! seen us! Ugh, Edmund got hit by a guiding bolt for 16 points of damage. Yeah, we can't just let this guy... Just sit back there and keep firing. Alright, well, I guess we just gotta start shooting at him. That's a hit for 14 fire damage from Gilda. Uh, Elisa is just going to shoot at him. Nothing else she can do. That's a hit for 13. Not. Oh, man. The archer just hit Ruad and triggered flawless concentration. Okay, so... So I feel like Edmund needs to just charge this, um, he's gonna have to, he's gonna have to charge this priest. And do a bonus action hit with his warhammer. <sighs> Missed! He dodged out of the way. All right. Well, this Edmund is is Edmund's going down for sure. Um. Ruad has a healing potion. Why doesn't? Uh, what kind of spell can we cast? How about silence? I could cast a silence spell. Okay, yeah. I'm okay with losing concentration on Bless. I'm gonna cast silence on this priest so he won't cast any more spells. Arun Oli Minure. Edmund is silenced, but that has no effect on him. Uh, soothing hand, that's touch. It's not gonna affect him, okay. Um, he's going to charge up on this archer. And switch to shield. Uh, <laughs> no one behind. Uh. No, I was hoping he would not be able to hit with a melee attack. The priest hits Edmund with a melee attack and knocks him down. All right, well... Let's shoot this priest. Another miss. That was a critical miss, but still did 10 points of fire damage, thanks to a feat. 
Uh, Elisa shoots. Probably no sneak attack because Edmund's dead on the floor. Next time. Missed. Unbelievable. Um, let's move up closer. Not that that helps or anything. The enemy hits at Ruad. Ah, Ruad gets an attack of opportunity. For nine points of damage. And he runs away into the silence area. Um, okay, Ruad is up. I feel like we want to do... Um... I think I want to run up here. Switch weapons and fire at this scout. Totally miss. Critical miss, in fact. He's going to cast a healing word bonus action on himself at third level. Arun Evo Curee. Heals for 13 points. That's it for his turn. Uh oh, the priest is not silenced anymore. Okay, we gotta cast a spell on this guy. What if we do... What if we do charm person on that scout? What? Targets must be within six cells. Oh man, she's gotta run up closer. This is a high risk proposition. Charm person on the scout. Arcana and Joe Minure. He failed his save. He is charmed. Awesome. Okay, now we can just. Oh, now we can get a sneak attack on the priest. Because he's engaged with Ruad. Elisa fires. <laughs> Hits for. Wow, only 14 points of damage with sneak attack. That was lame. She's gonna move over a little bit. Uh. Oh, Edmund's making a death save. Edmund succeeded on his first death save. Ruad is switching to shield. Unless he wants to cast a... He could do a good inflict wounds. He's going to do a, an inflict wounds at third level on this priest right in front of him. Countered! No! Okay, now he's switching to mason shield. Oh no, he's healing himself. For ten points, the priest healed himself. Okay, Gilda... Is gonna cast. Uh, I mean, all she can do is the firebolt at this point. So it's just a damage race at this point. Ten points of fire damage on the priest, and also hoping that Edmund doesn't die. <laughs> Elisa is gonna get another sneak attack on the priest with her last arrow. Again. Critical miss? Are you kidding me, Elisa? What are you doing? That could have ended the fight. Okay, the charmed guy is still charmed. Failed his save. So he's still out of the fight. Uh, Edmund. Do we just whack him? What kind of power do I have? Soothing hand. I can do a bonus action healing word on myself. Arun Evo Curee. For nine points. Oh, good. And then I'm just going to hit him in the face with a mace. <laughs> Divine strike for 
10 points of total damage. The priest is hurt, but he's not dead yet. And he is casting a... What was that? Inflict Wounds, probably? Blight. He casted Blight. Ruad takes 19 points of damage. Maintains concentration on whatever he was concentrating on. I didn't think he was concentrating on anything. Still a, still a damage race here. <laughs> Gilda fires a firebolt. Arcana at the priest's back. Malmis. That was a miss, but it still did three points of damage. Okay, come on, Elisa. Elisa is out of arrows. You gotta be kidding me. You are actually kidding me. Um, how about some uh, plus one arrows? Three plus one arrows. Or some poison. Poison arrows. How about that? And then plus one arrows in the second slot. How does that work? Second. How do you, like, drag things over? That's confusing. How am I supposed to... How do I get stuff in the second slot? Alright, whatever. Firing. Miss! Lucky. Miss! Elisa, you're killing me! You are absolutely killing me. No, actually, you're killing Ruad, is what you're killing. Oh no! The. The archer who was charmed made his save, I think. And he just fired at Gilda. And she is going to cast a shield at level 1. Lipay. And that arrow misses. Edmund is no longer dying. He regained a hit point. Holy crap. Edmund rolled the critical success on his death saving throw. He's up. He's going to swing three times at this scout right in front of him <laughs> killed him on the first shot uh <laughs> oh no he cannot get to the priest he can't get to him but he can switch to a crossbow and fire at him from the back <laughs> that is a hit for six points that's all he can do, though. Ruad. Ruad, you gotta finish this, man. Uh, I feel like I need to switch to the crossbow and try to cast another Inflict Wounds at third level. He's gonna counter this, I think. Yep. Damn it. Well, at least he's using up his spell slots. Uh, I'm going to do a soothing hand on myself. Get eight points back. And the priest is going to attack Edmund. And he's down again. Unbelievable. Okay. Okay. Firebolt at the priest. Takes only seven points of damage. He's, he's really hurt, but he's not dead yet. This priest won't die. Elisa is out of arrows again. <laughs> okay. How about just some regular old... 20 regular old arrows. Can we please get a hit, Elisa? Please, I'm begging you. Sneak attack. We'll put this guy down. The third round in a row, you could have ended this fight. Here we go. She fires. Oh, that is a hit. 12 points of damage. And the priest is dead. And we are victorious. Look at this. Marshal Sunblaze will be delighted. Or scared to death. 
Where's Illerith? I suppose she grabbed her reward. She ran. Farewell, Master. May your wisdom serve you well now. Did we win? Achievement unlocked. To be or not to be. Edmund... Is Edmund... Edmund's sleeping. What? Okay, what's happening? Why is Edmund sleeping? Uh, so Edmund went down. Edmund is no longer dying. He's unconscious. He's no longer silenced. Can we just, like, heal him? Ritual silence? No. Can I just cast a, um... I don't need to cast a Spare the Dying on him, right? Okay, Ruad, why are you not moving? Cast a Cure Wounds. I don't have to cast it on him. Why is it... Okay, I want to heal somebody else. Why is he sleeping? Unable to act until restored to one hit point or above. A short rest can restore. So I can't heal him. We just have to take a short rest. Apparently. Oh no, here we go. Okay, I gave him- Okay, I was paused. That's why I couldn't give him the potion. Okay. Well, I could have just used a spell. Alright, well you did it. We did it. Where's the short rest button? How does that work? I forgot. Take a short rest. There we go. Okay, Edmund is going to get... Uh, starting the short rest. Edmund's going to get one hit die, two hit die, three hit die. That's probably enough. We're just going back to town anyway. Gilda's going to get some Arcane Recovery to get a level 3 slot back. You have not spent all your Recovery Capital. Oh, I can... Oh, so I can get a total of 4 slots. Oh, I see. Okay, well I'll get another level 1 slot then. Okay, I think we're done. What is actually in here? Loot. Um, who gets the loot? Does anybody even want the loot? Arrows. Uh, Elisa will take... No, she doesn't want crossbow bolts. Chain mail, swords, who cares? Guess we'll take the poison. What else is back here? There's something in the chest. There's a message board here. Successfully picked the lock in the chest. There's a velvet mask. A valuable item that you can sell to a shop. A primed warhammer. A jeweled ring. Probably... possibly magic, but... And a bunch of worthless coins. And Tiger Drake Scales. Was that everything that was here? There's a bookcase over here. Whoa! Gilda, there's a ton. Oh, these are crafting things. Okay. Scroll of Revivify. <laughs> that could have been handy. Healing Remedy, Edmund should take that. 
a magnificent quarterstaff. A bunch of poison arrows and bolts and stuff. Elisa will take that. And crafting stuff. Cool. How do we... Can we just, like, use the crafting stuff? I forgot how crafting works. Yeah, just read the crafting materials. Read the crafting recipes. It's a bunch of poisoned bolts. Okay. Are we done now? Is the quest finished? I believe we finished the quest. Which one... What quest did we just finish? It was, uh... Honor Your Masters. No, not that one. that one. What did we just do? New business? No. Was it apostasy? No. I don't know what we just did. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea what quest we just completed. How, why can't I find which quest we just completed? That's so weird. Can I scroll up and find it? Conversation recorded. Freedom. Uh, experience gained. Nope, I don't see any indication of what quest we just completed. Well... Whatever it is, we're done with it now. And, uh... I guess we made progress. We finished a side quest. Yay. 